Hey guys, how's it going? Dude here. I am back with another video today. I am bringing you some time travelers caught on camera. You guys really enjoyed my video a few weeks ago about Donald Trump being a time traveler. If you want to check that out, the link for that is down below. So I thought, you know what, I'll bring you some more time travelers. And some of these are so bizarre and so unexplainable that they may well just be time travelers going back in time to either see historic events or maybe change history. So of course the idea of time travel right now is a thing of science fiction, but if you really think about it, if time travel is ever created and ever comes to exist in the future, then in theory time travel will exist always because if it's created in the future, then they'll be able to come back to present it in the past so even though it doesn't necessarily that we know of exist in 2020, if it's made in 2050, they could come back to 2020, therefore making time travel exist. And do you see what I'm, this is? This is a real mind bender. Just the concept alone. But guys, before I begin with the time travellers, caught on camera, please if you could like, share and subscribe. It really does help me out. I also have a Patreon because obviously the kind of content that I make tends to get demonetized and as a full-time creator, I have to rely on things like brands and Patreon and Twitch subs, etc. and the join button here on YouTube. So if you would like to do that, it would be massively appreciated. But the main thing is liking, sharing and subscribing this channel to allow me to grow. Okay, thank you so much guys. Right, so so, oh, time travellers caught on camera. I've got some pictures for you and I have some video footage as well. So let's kick off with a video. A video of a big celebrity and at the time one of the biggest sporting celebrities on the planet, Mike Tyson. In the 90s, Mike Tyson had a boxing bout that a time traveller went back in time to film the occasion on their smartphone. Is this a time traveller from the future who wants to get a shit ton of likes and comments on a video from a massive ringside sporting event like Mike Tyson in the 90s? Take a look, what do you think? Now there are some disputes that this is like one of the first video cameras of its kind in the 90s. But just look at it. It looks like a Samsung Galaxy 27. Do you know what I mean? It just looks like a smartphone portrait mode. Don't appreciate that. If you're going to go to all the effort going back in time to film Tyson, do a landscape please yeah thank you cannot stand people the film in portrait mode it's like your mum at your cousin's wedding do you know what i mean you're a time traveler a little bit more professional on the photography please next up we have this image of a beach from 1943 it was a load of factory workers they were given the day off because it was a nice hot day they all went down to the beach got their families and stuff but there is one man in particular that seems to stand out he's a kind of mr bean looking motherfucker stood in the center there and it looks like his attention is focused in his hands almost as if he is holding some kind of smartphone device or it's also been theorized that just maybe he is on some form of time travel device now i must admit i find this one a bit of a stretch but i found it in so many time travelers caught on camera articles some of which you can find linked down below and many of them swear blind that this is evidence of a time traveler all i know is if he's wearing baggy trousers like that on the beach, the sand is going to be all over his ankles and shins. And if there's one thing that I hate, it's sand. It gets in your shoes and everything. It's it's awful. I don't like sand. Is this a time traveller though? If you're a time traveller, why would you go back to a random beach in 1943? Speaking of kicks, not getting sand in these ones, but getting a mummified. So a mummy was unearthed in Mongolia. And the weird thing was, it appeared that she was wearing Adidas trainers nothing like it has ever been seen from the era or anything like that and they certainly do resemble adidas kicks is this proof of someone going back 
perhaps to the Mongolian Empire. Maybe they wanted some Genghis Khan action. Who knows? And then couldn't get back to their point in time. Ended up mummified. And here we are staring at some pretty funky Adidas kicks from hundreds of years ago. Another example of time travel is actually my girlfriend Maya. Strangely, nine years ago, she tweeted, Ah, so excited for Warzone, a game that she plays today, but wasn't to be invented for eight and a half years. You may well have seen this one, guys. This is the hipster, one of the most famous time-traveling pieces of imagery on the internet. So this photo was snapped in 1941 at the reopening ceremony for South Fork Bridge in British Columbia. Now, if you look carefully on the right-hand side, you will see a gentleman who looks like a modern-day hipster. He certainly does not fit in with the crowd whatsoever. He has some weird kind of funky goggles on and an embroidered stitch jumper or shirt, kind of like a DC Comics kind of shirt or a, or a band tee, something like that. Certainly not like the suits and ties and hats that everyone else around him is wearing. Is this a time traveller who has a fascination with the opening of Bridges, who's rocked up to see the opening of this one in British Columbia? What do you guys think of this one? I personally think this is a great piece of potential evidence. Or is he just a man whose fashion sense is ahead of his time? You know, is he more of a trendsetter? What do you guys think? Okay, this next one is my personal favourite. Okay, this is from 1943 in Reykjavik. Now guys, you need to bear in mind, of course, this is prime wartime, 1943. Okay, you can see soldiers, sailors all around alongside civilians. And there is a gentleman right there that appears to be on some kind of mobile phone device. There's no reason to have anything to your ear, mobile, in 1943, yeah? If there's a telephone with a big cable attached to it and a big operating system on the wall, then fair enough. But to have your hand to your ear like that, well, you need cell towers and things for mobile phones to work. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt that if this is a time traveller, they might have some kind of device that can, you know, go through time. Maybe the time machine has an operator in it and there's a guy there on the other end. You know, they, let's, let's just assume that they have communication if they have the capability of travelling through time, right? But I think this opens a fascinating rabbit hole. Okay, so this man, if he's a time traveler, has come back to wartime in Reykjavik. Now I understand, yeah, why wouldn't he be in Berlin assassinating Hitler? That would certainly make sense, right? Well, what if, and this is a massive what if, and this is where you all think I'm mental, I'm not, I'm just, you know, elaborating on something that sounds fun, right? Let's imagine if the war didn't go how it currently has. Yeah, so obviously the Nazis lost, you know, the resistance won, the Allies, happy days, we now live in society how we are today, yeah? Well, imagine if it didn't go that way. The Nazis won, or maybe there was a, you know, the, the, the Russians took over, hey, you, know, you never know, right? Let's just say it didn't go how it went, how World War II went. So what if 100 years later, once we're under Nazi occupied, you know, think Wolfenstein shit, yeah? What if there's a new pocket of resistance, think Terminator, but rather than machines, it's against the Nazis, and then 100 years after World War II, they create the time machine, and they go back to have a sequence of events that changes history but obviously we don't know because we're living in that changed history right to what we have today and that picture of the time traveler in Reykjavik was up to some time travel paradox history changing shenanigans to give us 2020 world war three pandemic brexit riots recession paradise that we have today take it with a pinch of salt but i could be right so we've got another picture of a man that seems to be not dressed for the occasion over a hundred years ago some canadian people on a hill Random picture, but here we are. But there is a gentleman that looks like a modern day surfer. He wouldn't look out of place in Cornwall, right? Just got to the beach on his longboard, ready for a surf. Now, obviously, I'm sure 
you know, back in the 1890s, maybe they had t-shirts and cargo shorts, right? But obviously you see how everyone else is dressed. And there's even a woman to the right of the guy that seems to be gesturing in his direction as if to say, the fuck, he looks very peculiar. So is this a man who's gone back in time with a, with a suitcase of, you know, modern day billabong attire? And it's just chilling on a hillside with a load of people in Canada. Doesn't look like he belongs there, does he? Okay, 1928, Charlie Chaplin. You've probably seen this one as well. This one is bizarre. So this is on film, guys. Now, I got this from the YouTube channel Inside Edition. I know they don't own it, but this is just the clip that I have. So I'll source them, even though they don't own this either. But ignore their watermark in the bottom corner, okay? So this is from a Charlie Chaplin, it's either the Charlie Chaplin silent film or the premiere of the film being filmed. But there is a lady that walks behind a zebra for some reason and she appears to be on a mobile phone. Bizarre as it gets, 1928. She's walking alone. Because some people are like, well, she's got one of them like ear horn things. You know, they used to stick a horn in your ear and just sort of like, then the echo chamber would sort of like pick up the noises. But this woman is walking alone. She's on a phone. She's on a phone. Check it out. And finally, this is the last image I'm gonna show you. Because again, it's a mobile phone. It's a bunch of ladies in 1938 caught on film, but one lady seems to be talking to someone else who's not even there. You'll see what I mean. Check this out. There we go. Now, I've looked at this clip a few times. I'm trying to work out if someone kind of doctored in a phone type device in her hand. I'm, I'm kind of 80 20. 80% 80 saying no, 20% saying maybe that this might be doctored. But if it's not, what's she doing with, with that kind of device to her ear and then having a chat and then popping it down? Just like we do in modern time with a mobile phone. Maybe she didn't realise she was on camera. You know, maybe she's on a time travel mission and she's like, yeah, I see the target over. And then, you know, she was captured with the device to her ear. My point that I'm going to circle back to this from the start of the video remains, right? As far as we know, time travel isn't possible. There is a video in this though, guys. Nazis had that time bell thing. Don't know if you've heard about it. Would you like me to cover it in a video? If you do, let me know down below and I will. As far as we know, we don't have a time travel device right now, okay? I'm sure the government must be working on it because why the fuck wouldn't you? If you had the ability to go back in time, you can change events and history and all sorts of shit. But if one day in the future it becomes possible and they do it, then time travel technically is possible from any point in history because you can go back and then go from from there does it make sense it's, it's hard to get your head around but it, it so say it doesn't necessarily have to have been built or invented now but if it has been invented then there will always have been evidence of time travel because it would have always have occurred even though it hasn't been invented until the future so just because we don't have time travel right now doesn't mean that there hasn't been time travelers in the past because they could have come from a point further down the line therefore some of these images could be real i know they're probably not i'm not mental okay not lost the plot yet but they could be real and that's fucking cool that's all i got for you today guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it i hope you enjoyed this video it's it's one that fascinates me i love this kind of stuff for me this drops into the conspiracy kind of folder of this channel if you want to support this channel any further like i said earlier the way to do it is patreon and all the links for to, to support this channel are down below if you want to check me out on twitch.tv forward slash studio rhino it's an amazing way to do that the problem with the content i'm making guys is that it gets demonetized a hell of a lot which is it's, it's a hard area to be in but it's an area that i'm passionate about so it's an area i will continue to be in does that make sense i know that you guys really enjoy the content fuck youtube and your demonetization rules but if i talk about a serial killer Demonetize. If I talk about something historic where something bad happened, demonetize. But it is what it is. But I will not be deterred by the demonetization bot, guys. It is what it is. And uh, but you guys support me in an amazing way, you know. And the way that you like, share, and subscribe to this channel and, and has helped it grow. And it'll get to 100k very soon. I'm confident of that. And uh, that silver play button is is going to be amazing. It's something that I've, I've you know 
yearned for for eight years and it now looks like something that I will eventually get which is incredible so thank you so much for that I really do appreciate it keep on subscribing keep on sharing and I'll keep on bringing you the content guys I really do appreciate it I'll see you very soon sweet one geese